In this video, I'll talk about law of attraction. In other words, new thought. Although it's 200 years old, this concept, people still refer it to, new, to this as new thought. In the new thought philosophy, the law of attraction is the belief that by focusing on positive or negative thoughts, a person brings positive or negative experiences into their life. The belief is based on idea that people and their thoughts are both made from pure energy and the thought process of like energy attracting like energy a person can improve their own health, wealth, and personal relationships. Advocates of this mind power paradigm generally combine con cognitive reframing techni techniques with affirmation and creative visualization to replace limiting of self-destructive negative thoughts with more empowered adaptive positive thoughts a key component of the philosophy is that in order to effectively change one's negative thinking pattern one must also feel through creative visualization that the distract desired changes have already occurred. This combination of positive thought and positive emotion is believed to allow one to attract positive experiences and opportunities by achieving resonance with the proposed energetic law. The law of attraction has no scientific basis and has been dubbed as pseudoscience. A number of researchers have criticized the misuse of scientific concept by proponents. Originally, hundreds of years ago, the new thought was not called law of attraction. It just was a belief that if you don't feel well, you kind of think that you feel better every moment and you try to believe it and that's what heals you. Then lots of writers who want quick buck started publishing books promising that positive thinking and affirmation can give you wealth and success in relationship. If you want a new car, imagine that you are driving a new car. If you want a new relationship, imagine that you already have it. Where did it come from? Well, prayer is thousands in thousands of year old tradition and religion kind of encouraged it. For example, in New Testament, Mark eleven twenty four. Therefore I tell you whether you ask in prayer believe that you have received it 
and it will be yours and so on also a lot of people like Napoleon Hill thinks that law of attraction is blind if criminals wants money he will get them and there is no reason ask God why did criminal get money not me and the answer is because he uses law of attraction properly he doesn't judge he just wants money and universe gave it to him it doesn't matter he acquired money bad ways or good ways he worked within the law that's what he got basically positive affirmation and rich imagination and strong belief that you already have it will give you anything according to the law of attraction yeah